welcome to another video. Today, we're going to take a look at this Victor D9. Now, you may have seen a similar machine on YouTube that's owned by another collector called Ryan, and his channel is uh, U5096. Now, I actually met up with Ryan, and this is his, well, his old one. Uh, it's now mine, which is cool. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, it's actually been cleaned already. Um, I cleaned it and forgot to make a before video, but it wasn't much different. And if you want to see a before video, there's a video on his channel of this. So, yeah, you can take a look. But anyway, here it is. Um, it's got a chunk out of the bumper here. And there's a broken bit around here somewhere. There's a broken bit there. And one of the other bits has snapped. But, you know, it's all been glued. Um, let's take the clips out. Um, it wasn't that dirty when I got it. It was a little bit dirty. It wasn't very dirty, but it's all had a polish and stuff. And you know, um, let's take this motor unit off. So underneath the motor unit, we have this big HEPA filter. Um, here, big HEPA filter thing. And that just goes on there. Uh, probably on other models, there would have been a ball float on here if it was wet and dry because it's the same casing so you know and the cable's falling off so we'll put it over there um, the filter's had a wash you know, it's all nice and clean and then here's the bucket inside it's all been cleaned there's a bit of muck in there that I couldn't get out and probably in there yeah but we've got a new bag in here and this is actually a servo power bag um, believe it or not so it's a H or H1 or whatever it is, turbo power bag, turbo power two. So, you know, it fits in there all right. Um, I did have a double micro Henry bag in there, but the collar was split and stuff on it and it was leaking, so I put that in there. So let's just take the cable off before we do anything else. Uh, the cable's had a clean up and stuff. It's a 12 meter cable um, on here. Um, it had a different plug when I got it as well. It had some little cheap plug. Um, but now it's got a nice old MK on there. Prongs are a bit bent, but oh well. Um, this is all out of cleaning here. Now Ryan, when he gave this to me, he said, oh, it's got a PTO socket. I didn't even realise it had one. So it's got a PTO socket, pneumatic power tools. No, pneumatic power head thing fits in there. Uh, On-off switch. It's got a cover on there for some weird reason. And the cable restraint thing uh, it says max 200 watt now the only thing I don't like about this is the way the top goes on now personally I think that should be at the back and the cable come out there but you know it's a bit of a weird one this so you know I'll switch again so with this I got the hose which has all been cleaned so here's the hose um, in his video, he didn't have this on. He didn't have the original ones. He had Henry ones on. But this is the original hand grip. It's a 35mm fitting. Uh, the hose is actually 30 mil, 32 mil. But there's a bit of paint in there and that. And the hose has been washed, although it does look dirty. And then there's the other end that goes into the machine. And then here is the original ones and floor tool. Well, part of the floor tool. Um, original neck and original chrome ones, although they're a bit manky. Um, but it's like a 20 year old vac. Now, Ryan said to me that he replaced his floor tool with a brand new one, new pattern one, but that's the original neck of the uh, original floor tool. So, what we'll do now, we'll plug this in and give it a go. Um, it sound, might sound a little bit different, and it has a little more suction than it did before. Um, mainly because when I took it apart to clean it, the motor fell apart. Um, as I took it out, the fan case fell off and the inner baffle. Um, fell off as well so that's all being glued and taped back together not in a bodgy way but you know it's been done so the tape it's just had tape around the top of the fan case um like an old electrolux like one of those and then the baffle inside's all just been glued back in so you know we'll uh we'll plug it in and we'll give it a uh, quick go
So, as you can tell, the machine runs quite smooth now. It ran like that before, but it runs just a little bit better now. But yeah, anyway, there we go. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And of course, bye for now.